one sails into the Bay of Kota, it's almost like you're stumbling upon an unknown magical kingdom. And when I flew across, I saw the fjords and I saw the most unbelievable forbidden area, which was forbidden both by airplanes to overfly and by ships, private ships to approach, the largest naval base in the largest natural harbor in the whole Adriatic. I realized that not only is this an unbelievable facility never to be recreated, but it's got an opportunity here that probably will never arise again in the whole of the European Mediterranean coast. Porto Montenegro is not only the ideal location for super yachts and yachts over 30 metres, but for yachts of any size. And that is because Montenegro is ideally situated in the middle of Europe. It's the gateway to the Adriatic. It's only a day sailing away from the traditional cruising grounds of Italy and France and Spain. The vision of the project is to become a home port. It's the infrastructure that we've put in place. It's one of the few places in the Mediterranean that you can actually come in and take large quantities of duty-free fuel. The international airport, which is so close, the shipyard in Biella, which will be there for repair and maintenance, the golf course that we're putting in, it's the ski lodge that we're putting in, it's the activities for the crew in the mountains, the wakeboarding, the regattas, the bars, the beautiful girls, it has everything. It was very important to us when we came to Montenegro that we respected the history and the vernacular culture that exists here today. And as part of that we had an international competition of architects where we asked them to go to the beautiful towns around us, Paras, Kotor, Dubrovnik, look at these towns and tell us what they could do in Porto Montenegro that was reflective of these particular towns. Ridden Smith, London-based architectural firm, which is known for its vernacular architecture, came up with a plan that not only respected this history and its architectural styles, but also was able to layer into that a contemporary dimension. One of the projects that Porto Montenegro is implementing is our Yacht Assist program. We want the vessels that come to Montenegro to have the best level of assistance that we can possibly deliver. As tourism evolves, people become wealthier. Privacy becomes the most precious component. There is no place on this earth anymore that can guarantee you the kind of privacy and the kind of freedom that a yacht does. To be able to purchase a property on the waterfront in any of the established marinas in the Mediterranean today it comes at a very high cost. Puerto Montenegro, given it's at the beginning of its development, allows people to get into waterfront property with marina access at a very low cost. We have a group of very deep-pocketed investors who share one thing. We believe absolutely and completely in the long-term reality of this project and we want to take pride in realizing it. So apart from the short-term financial rewards, which we neither need nor do we seek, we can see the long-term enormous benefits, not just to us, but to having created something as significant that is transformational, not just for Montenegro, but for the whole region. <laughs>